Questions there. A very disgruntled Frank Lampard seeing his team beaten for the second time in four days. And that was what it means to the table. Uh, Chelsea had the chance tonight actually to go level on points with Tottenham and Liverpool. Uh, at one point they were ahead of Southampton, but they stay in fifth. Wolves move up to tenth place. Manchester City there in sixth. And West Brom pick up a point here at the Etihad, which means they move a little bit closer to that line. To Burnley, of course, on nine points who are in the safety zone. Let's have a look at tomorrow's games for you. We've got six coming up. We've got uh, Arsenal Southampton. What an interesting one that will be. Arsenal, of course, on a terrible run of form at home. Uh, Leeds United against Newcastle United. Leicester with that fantastic performance on Sunday evening up against Everton, who beat Chelsea at the weekend. Uh, it is Liverpool Tottenham, which really grabs the eye, doesn't it? The top two. Klopp against Mourinho. Fulham Brighton, a real battle at the bottom. And West Ham, a London derby against Crystal Palace. And if you can't decide what you want to watch, there is, of course, the option of every game, every goal. Steve Bauer and the team tomorrow at five o'clock. Uh, let's have a little word, though, about what's going to happen at Anfield. I mean, already the... Don't speak to me. The speak games, to... the games... <laughs> I know they're going to win at five. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the games have started already. The press conferences today, Mourinho and Klopp, you know, the mind games, Alan Shearer, that we, we love so much from these two. Uh, Mourinho basically just listing a group of players That's who are yeah. fit for Liverpool, pointing out that there's still plenty of quality there in spite of the fact that Virgil van Dijk's not ready for selection. Well, Tottenham have been the team of the season so far for uh, for me. The way they've um, they've gone about it, the way the, how organised they are. Um, Jose has got them very, very difficult to beat at times, playing six at the back and relying on those those uh, world-class forwards that they have in Son and in Kane, who are not only scoring goals but assisting each other also. We know the way that um, they'll approach the game and they'll go and, and how they'll sit and try and keep their shape. Um, and it's a, it's a matter of, or a question is, is can Liverpool break that down? Let's have a little flavour then from the managers. Gabriel Clark spoke to them both a little bit earlier in the week. We all enjoy football, but really enjoying football is only possible when you win. The ambitions, the principles of 20 years ago, nothing changed. The opportunity to be successful, that keeps me going. There is only one objective, to win the next match. Perfectly poised, isn't it? You know, at this stage of the season, yes. one and two, and and Mourinho seemingly just hitting this real kind of form and groove with Spurs that you didn't see coming maybe six or seven months ago. Everything seems to be gelling and working there. Yes. Liverpool with this incredible home form, call it. I think Liverpool will win. I think we're all waiting to see what kind of team Liverpool have out. And whether what Matt, are you asking him Matt that for? Plays. Well, I just think, <laughs> as a neutral, of course, <laughs> sitting here with the lads, <laughs> Liverpool's home form is so good, I think they'll dominate play. I think Mourinho will try and hit them on the break like he did against Manchester City when, when they played um, at home. Um, but I think Liverpool will have enough to break them down and to, and to win the game. They're, and they'll have the fans in. And I think the record added at Anfield is exception, well. exceptional. Yes. And added emotion because of Gerard of course, Houllier. Yes. But that won't bother Jose Mourinho. No, he's, he's perfect in these games. You saw what they did to Manchester City. You know, he's got the blueprint there. He's going to take the same thing there. And I'm with Al. You know, you've got Kane and Son at the top of the pitch with the issues. Some of the issues that Liverpool have at the back. Do you pick Tottenham then? Is that what you're saying? Score draw. <laughs> <laughs> Score draw. These get the big ones Sit always right end on in a draw. Sit right yeah, on that fence. Hey, what about that's you, what's going to happen. What about you, Al? I think, um, I think this is right up Mourinho Street, this so game. With so Liverpool's home record, you can imagine what he'll be saying in the uh, in the dressing room, the yeah. way he's going to set his team up. I mean, that, that team that he's got Two years now, as well, Alan, since he took Manchester United there yeah, and lost, lost his job. His job yeah. Yeah. Mm. Wow. I mean, that, that team he's got at Tottenham now is perfect for him. He's got the two guys in midfield who often make it six at the uh, six at the back, and with the pace that they have and the ability that they have going forward, that suits him to perfection the way he plays these games. We've seen him get results like that as well, haven't we? When when Chelsea when he was Chelsea manager, he went to Anfield and spoiled the party to a certain extent. So is he going to do tomorrow? No. Don't you want to go and get warm yet? I'm not. No, I'm from Liverpool. I don't get cold. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for your company. It was warm and enlightening, as always. <laughs> uh, I think we'll all agree Manchester City need to score more goals, but the Baggies made their point from all of us. Good night.